So I set out to answer the question nobody asked. That being, is there any possibility that the old Milwaukee bandsaw, M12 bandsaw, is preferable to the new brushless, fuelish version? Well, if you go by the specifications, no. If you go by the latest YouTube video reviews, no, this new saw is just spectacular. It's just way more capacity, cuts faster. Eh, it, it, it looks pretty good on, on paper and, and in practice, according to all, all the latest reviews. But I wanted to ask the question, is there a possibility that this old saw might serve you better? And it, maybe that is the case. First of all, if you don't need that capacity on the new saw, maybe that's enough for what you do. Price. This thing is two-thirds the price of this, and if you can get them on the used market, well, you can get a lot cheaper. Size. It's, it's definitely a little bit more compact, and if you're really tight on space, and you know, it is a little bit lighter, so if you're carrying it around up and down ladders and stairs and stuff like that, maybe it's not too bad. I do find that it has a little bit better of a, uh, a balance compared to the new fuelish version. It's not terribly different, though. But what I am setting to test out here in this video is there a possibility that the old saw is easier on batteries than the new saw? If that is the case, that means that it, you'll get more life out of your batteries. Not, not just in the working day, but over the long term, if your batteries are getting shallow or discharge cycles, well, that's better. All your batteries can last years longer, perhaps. So I'm going to test that with my M12 line splitter a clamp-on ammeter and I'll do some test cuts and some I believe this is three-quarter square aluminium and let me set that up and let's do the test. Let's start off with the old Milwaukee brushed version. Now on paper a brushed motor is less efficient than a brushless motor because there are losses with the brushes and the commutator bars there are friction and, and sparking losses However, it is a whole tool, so you're never going to really know unless you actually do a test. So, I have it rigged up with a M12 uh, 3.0 battery, and let's let her rip. Now, here's the brushless version. I'm running both of these saws at full throttle. The brushless version is supposed to have about twice the speed of the brushed version, so it should cut a lot faster. Let's find out. Huh, go figure. The old Milwaukee is more efficient than the new fuelish version. This was faster, but that speed came out at a cost. The old Milwaukee, it consumed eight and a half amps on average over 60 seconds. That means it was using about 0.14 amp hours of the battery. In contrast, this brushless version, it took only 40 seconds as faster, but it consumed a whopping 15 amps on average. That means it consumed from the battery 0.17 amp hours. It's a significant amount more. Now, not entirely scientific experiment, but uh, if this old saw is enough for your purposes, well, there's one more reason that you shouldn't do the upgrade is it'll make your batteries last longer. Nonetheless, I think I'm going to be selling this one because I do like the capacity and the speed is pretty cool as well. Anyways, thanks for watching. Take care and bye-bye.